I received an inquiry regarding an alert message in QuickBooks Online, QBO for short. So today's video, we're going to be going over the alert, what it means, and what to do about it. The uh, alert message was some QuickBooks payments deposits weren't automatically recorded. After you receive the funds in your account, record them manually as a bank deposit. So first off, we need to go over the, the normal steps that are involved when we invoice a client and then receive payment. The first step we take is we do the work, we send the invoice to the client. The second step that we need to take in QuickBooks Online is after we receive the payment from the client, we need to record that payment manually. The third step is we need to record the bank deposit, meaning after we've received the payment, we're going to deposit it into the bank. So those are ordinarily three steps that we manually have to do. The promise of QuickBooks payments is the process is supposed to be automated. And most of the time it is. The process works as it's intended. However, sometimes, as in this instance, the process doesn't work correctly and we need to um, manually correct the errors. So what this is saying is QuickBooks Payments recorded the payment automatically. However, the third step in the process, the recording of the deposit to the bank account, did not happen as it's intended. So what we need to do is manually record the bank deposit. And to do that, it's very simple. What we're going to do is we're going to go up to Deposit we're going to click on bank deposit and you can see this um, sort of arrow here we're going to click on that because this relates to QuickBooks payments and ordinarily you know depending on how many um, payments you have before the deposit was made you may have multiple deposits here so you might have to go and look at your QuickBooks uh, payments dashboard to see how many payments were involved and the deposit amount. In this instance, it's just one payment that was received. So as we can see, this is um, payment here and this payment method says QuickBooks Payments Credit Card. So we know that QB Payments recorded the payment properly. However, they didn't record this deposit. So that part of the process got um, suffered a malfunction. So what we're doing now is we're manually recording the deposit. So we're simply going to check there, check this box, and then um, we're going to make sure in this instance $418 was the total deposit amount. So we're going to hit save and close and that's all we need to do.